Guys, today I'm joined with my good friend Kevin, who's a collector. He has some of the best cards. I know he's been on the channel before talking about his collection. Today we're talking about his number to 99 National Treasures Jordan Love and what he should do with it. He's a big boy collector, but we're going to make some bad decisions and impulsively <laughs> buy something really fast today because that's what we do. So we subscribe to Arena Club's newsletter. We've always followed the company and they've really pivoted. Let's go to the site real fast. When we first discovered Arena Club, they were basically a grading company. And now they grade cards, but it is the third tab on the website. And now they're like a marketplace for selling slabs. And the biggest thing they've been pushing is these slab packs. They send out 35 emails a day on days where they do a drop with these slab packs. So what are we going to do, Kevin? We're going to buy one. Oh, yeah, we are. we're going to buy a Ruby slab pack. They're $250. So from my understanding, just looking uh, go back to this homepage real fast, it looks like we got the high end. You get two... And with these goals, you get two slabs for 200. Uh, we're, uh, Kevin's a big baller, and I gotta match him. We're, we're Only want the best. Yes. So it looks like football sold out, and looks like Pokemon is sold out, which is unfortunate because we were gonna buy Pokemon. But since Pokemon and hockey are two favorite sports and dinosaurs are sold out, we're going to have to go with baseball. Looks like there's some cool stuff available. I'm a little bit confused. How many times have we read this page? Yeah, I still don't understand it. But, so, hey. I think, from, from my understanding, it says, like, you're not getting a physical card. We know that for a fact. You get a card, you buy this, you unwrap it, you get some kind of card, figure out what it's worth, and then if you want the card, they can ship it to you, or they can store it for you, right? But this is the interesting thing, this checklist here. So here's the big boy card, this Jackson Merrill number to 5 Bowman Chrome 2022 Prospect Auto. That's the card everybody's chasing. If I was them, I wouldn't have handed out this early. I don't know how that works, but like as soon as this is handed out, then the value of the cards fall quite a bit. And then you got everywhere down to these like tier three cards. It says this is updated in real time. So I, it seems to me like you are guaranteed to get a card from this list for $250. Is that fair? Yeah, well... Round and round, I think that's it. That's what we've landed on. I don't understand why your odds of pulling this card, like assuming equal distribution, I don't know why your odds of pulling this is 0.3% and your odds of pulling the, unless it's just like an NBA lottery situation, what they have, I don't, I don't know how they're necessarily doing that, uh, but we're hopefully gonna hit a card that's worth around $250. So here, let me give the Kevin collecting story. I was like, man, you should buy some sports cards. Here's a cool Joe Burrow autograph that would be, it's like a $500 optic bronze autograph. And it was spelled wrong. His name yeah, was spelled right, Burrow. Right, right. So I was like, you can immediately flip it. And then he texts me like two weeks later. He's like, I just bought this one of one Joe Burrow rookie <laughs> autograph. And he has like one of one rookie autographs of basically everybody who's a starting quarterback in the NFL, yeah, including yeah. Sam Darnold right now. Make your MVP case for Sam Darnold. Oh yeah, he's, he's, he's there, it's over, it's done. He's off this week, so he can't, he can't, he can't fall. crater. He can't crater He tried to turn weekend. into a pumpkin last week and then he's- He was he's, injured, come on, come on. Like some of these tier three cards, even these cards are worth fairly close to, well, I don't I think know. The, half a dozen we looked at there was only one that was under two hundred dollars yeah they were all reasonably good cards so for example this mint nine auto of bregman this one i tried to grab something that i figured would be worth quite a bit less honestly but yeah this one's not very good i mean 160 that's the numbered version this card's not very good that's numbered as well so we're gonna say 160 dollars for this nine if we were to pull that but even like this bottom tier, that's kind of what, there's a Jackson Holiday autograph in tier three. Like, that's a good card. To be fair, we're paying $250 for it, so. So this, this is a tier three Jackson Holiday card. Uh, it looks like it's worth 210. That's still auctioning too. Yeah, my, I was trying to see if it was, yeah, there, I don't know. It seems like, this is weird to, no, this one's sold. This one's finished, but it's still sold for 210 oh, and it was okay, raw. So, I don't know. It seems like all the cards are actually worth 200 plus. 200. Like, the floor seems to be 150. I said to Kevin, like, how do they make money? And then we look through these cards and he said, how do they make money? So, we're really actually wondering. Uh, so, let's buy one. What's I'm going to edit it out, but I was like broadcasting oh, my credit card oh, info oh, on that yeah. video. That's probably a bad call. Two, one. Mike Trout, 
music. I mean, as a Mike Trout rookie, I don't know. I have no feel for how much this card's worth. It has to be one of the lesser ones. Mike Trout, finest, PSA 9, rookie. All right, it is worth $200 best offer accepted. It's not numbered. 150, 130. So, yeah, we've hit the floor there. <laughs> That's to be expected. That's kind of how it goes. So there's our Mike Trout that we just bought. And we can, I guess we can do it as an auction on their marketplace if we wanted to. So yeah. that par probably yeah. is easier than it coming to us yes. and then listing it on eBay. Yeah. All the hits are legit. So let's look at the percentage. That, that, was there enough? It was 2.33. I yeah. mean, it should change a tiny Maybe. bit. Yeah, yep. it did. Yeah, it did. It updated. So, well, there you have it. We took one for the team. Now you guys have, this doesn't make sense. You have better odds of hitting a tier three card. So that doesn't make sense. You would think you'd want worse odds of hitting a tier three card. Either way, we've got a Mike Trout rookie that's worth about $130. We're going to hold it until he becomes healthy again. So 2031. And then we <laughs> will get it listed and sold and recoup $250. But it was a fun experiment. So, I mean, and it, it does seem like the floor is reasonably high. We said like $150, $200 was probably worst case. And it looks like we're going to be hovering right around that $150 mark yeah. with what we hit. So not bad. It's better than, you know, ripping a hobby box at $250. Usually yeah. don't get $150 bucks out of that. It's better so. than gambling. It is, unless you're an expert gambler like Kevin. All right, see you guys later. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hey, guys. Future Jesse here. So I was editing. It's super early in the morning. I was doing the edits. And I just want to make note that I noticed something in the edits that doesn't really add up to me. Um, so... I'm probably going to run it back with another video when they have a drop in the future because I noticed, I don't want to say a discrepancy, but just something that doesn't add up. So I'm not endorsing the drops. We had fun, but I do want to make sure uh, the math checks out before anything else. And I can't pretend like I still understand how all the percentage things work. I'm going to do some reading, do some studying, but I do have another video on this topic coming. So now here's the real outro.